Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And today we're going back to a time before 2020 ever existed and we're cracking open some War of the Spark. And I just love this set, it's such a really, really cool set. And we've obviously got all of those Planeswalkers as well. Can we get a Nicol Bolas? Can we get Teferi? What are we going to get? Get an answer in the comments. Oh my god! <laughs> First pack, we get Ugin. We get sexy Ugin, man. Me and Master Steve loves him some Ugin. Oh my god, what a good card to start off the video. And we've got a Plains and a Wall. I mean, compared to other Ugins out there, he's only worth a few quid, but Ugin is still Ugin. Am I right? And obviously, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. Obviously very soon we've got a load, a load of Cal Time stuff coming up and that will be amazing. And so the Planeswalker here is Sarkhan the Masterless. There we go with his ultimate being that create a 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying. But yeah, obviously the big hitters that we're wanting in this pack, like it is that Teferi, is that Liliana? For some reason, Finale of Devastation is a really, really big valued hitter. Now, um, yeah, I don't know if that's just because green is green is all powerful, but yeah, it's really worth a lot. And we've got Planeswalker there in Jaya. We'll keep her to one side. We'll keep the Planeswalkers to one side, and the rare here being Living Twister. So yeah, some of those would be good, and of course. The guy that this whole set's about, we want to pull a Nicol Bolas. Obviously, War of Spark being that really cool set with all the lore being sort of equivalent to, I'd say, Avengers Endgame. All of these planeswalkers teaming up to try and kill good old Nicol Bolas. Oh my God. Okay, we've got one of the best ones. For some reason, it's not a mythic, but we've got Teferi. Oh my God. Okay, that is that is one of the best cards in the set. I'm trying to get rid of that light and glare. But yeah, that is that is one of the best cards in the set. Obviously, not now, but it had a fair old good run in uh, in standard when it was uh, before War of the Spark got removed. I'm glad that this is not in there now. But oh my god, Teferi, right at the start of the video, love it. If the uh, good old website that I always use, which is MTG Goldfish, to price up the cards is correct, then I believe that is like the third, third bet. Oh, I missed this. I missed this on Arena as well. But that was uh, Teferi, probably like the third, third best card there. Get through all of these commons, uncommons. Ah, we've got Davriel Shadow Road. And I remember the first time I saw this card. I didn't know if that, if a, uh, you can see here if that was a, like a misprint or not, but no. Uh, Davriel in that uncommon slot, and the rare is Solar Blaze. Boros, uh, each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. There we go. No mythics yet, but obviously we've got Teferi, which is basically, basically, all things considered, a mythic in its own right. I am trying out a new camera set up uh, this video so hopefully it looks all right it's not too bad and we've got Tamio I love Tamio that is a good old little Simic woman love it great card and we'll put that in the rare slot and we get the swamp oh we've got the first foil of the video nothing special just an enforcer griffin and if you haven't yet then do check out our link tree that is in the description. It does have all of our social medias in, but most importantly, it has, oh, not the camera. It wouldn't be a pack opening without me knocking the camera. Yeah, we have all of our links to our, say our Magic Madhouse affiliate. So obviously if you're buying cards, click that link and you know, a bit of that will actually really help the channel. God Pharaoh's statue, cool cards there. And, ooh, God, I keep knocking my camera. Who actually the sun's heart, a good old life gain one there, and I always like the um, I like the planeswalkers that just have minus three, because you know really it's got a limited use. An oath of Kea, 
that is a good good rare to pull again saw that a fair bit in standard when it was about i want to say back in the day now but it is a good card nonetheless and we've got a foil oh foil death sprout i love death sprout really all in all i love this set i think war of the spout was a wicked wicked set and i will not hear a bad word said about it yeah death sprout was such a underrated card destroy target creature and search for our land straight onto the battlefield tapped it is it's a great card and this is a card i do not miss bringing this back and lure us in arena that was that was a meta that i am glad that i am glad is gone and as we'll get to this spell gorge or weird what's the rare gonna be it's a journey it's a journey the uh, the planeswalker if you have the extra life secret lair this is the one you'll get obviously with that stained glass look but who doesn't love a journey there we go and oh oh there we go it's a double rare pack with a foil oak kaya 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 what do you say let me know in the comments below okay getting this up and you know what all things considered it's not been that bad so far it's really not been that bad we've got teferi we've got a few other things and um, let's try and avoid that glare and here we have what are we going to get we've got teo teo the shield mage that gives you hexproof definitely not a bad planeswalker to have and silent submersible for the rare one of those vehicles that i never use myself but they are pretty pretty damn cool and there we go okay next need to try and not finish opening a single pack without going and there we go because that is something that I say a lot, what is it? Hmm. That mark. That mark in there? Hmm. Don't know if that's good or not. That just looks a bit. That card looks a bit worse for wear. Never good. Okay, and what is the rare gonna Is it gonna be a mythic? Are we gonna get a mythic? We deserve a mythic, don't we? A Johnny's Pride Mate. Gideon Blackblade. And there we go. I said we deserve a mythic. And there we have Gideon. I believe he was one of the one of the planeswalkers that may have fallen during War of the Spark. So if I'm right, RIP Gideon. I don't think we'll be seeing you on any cards anytime soon. But it is a very good legendary planeswalker. And we have an assassin for the token. You know what? A mythic is a mythic. So Gideon, have your own pile. Yeah, first, first mythic. Or second, if we count into fairy, because he's worth worth a few bucks. Am I seeing it again? I feel like these cards, some of them, it's, well, maybe the first one in each pack seems to be have some sort of rigging or damage at the top. Okay, and Summit, good little haste creature giver, and that is an official sentence. And we have Ignite the Beacon for the rare. Search for two Planeswalker cards and put them into your hand. Bit expensive to play, but still, good, good rare. Okay, and we're coming up to the last pack. Last pack in the first block of cards. What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be, yeah, again, I can, is, what? Oh, is it just, the card's just a bit, I hate to say it, but are the cards just a bit moist? Um, that is something that just, no, phrasing. Okay, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the re oh, Obnixilis. Again, another uncommon, but I really love this card. And I think it's the sort of card that can have a good bit of play in Commander if you're running anything, anything black in, that's good. Oh, yes, oh, yes, that is a good, that is a good pack with some good black cards. Bolas's Citadel is another lovely card that can just about run in any commander deck. You love to see it. And a zombie army. I mean, I guess you want armies for your zombies, but I feel like I'm getting that at the end of every token pack. Yeah, another reason I like this set is because unlike, unlike sets like, say, recent sets like Ikoria, so sorry, Prickly Mama set, um, you know, some sets have lost, lose quite a lot of value already. This is, this has kind of stayed steady. Obviously still, still cheap to buy, which is good, 
But yeah, the value of it, and there's Ashiok for an uncommon planeswalker and the rare Mizium Tank. Yeah, the value of this set sort of overall has kind of just stayed steady in price, which you do love to see. And as I've said, the set as a whole is wicked. And that whole trailer they did for the start of War of the Spark, if you've not seen it, I'll just put it in the description. It's only about a minute long, but it's just wicked. It's proper, proper film trailer stuff. Angrath there for the Captain of Chaos and Soul Diviner. Fun fact, in the first ever War of the Spark pack I got, Angrath was in there. Why I remember that, I don't know. Let's neaten these up. And will we get another mythic? Oh, it's so weird having a new layout. Um, I want to be putting them here when they're here and they're here and they're here. So yeah, let me know if this if this layout is any better. If it's not, just put in the comments, say, Lewis, change it back and I will do whatever you say. And there we go, we've got a rare, Vivian. I'm pretty sure she got upgraded to mythic in Aquaria. So maybe this is like kind of another mythic, but not really. Really cool cards. Um, again, look at the top three cards of your library and cast creature spells as though they have flash. I feel like any Vivian in MTG is a good Vivian. And we've got a ah, foil island, and that is some spectacular art there. Yeah, I said it at the start of the video, I said at the end of the video, I'll whack it in the middle now as well. If you haven't already, then just hit that subscribe button help the channel grow. Obviously, when we get to 500 subscribers, there is going to be a special with a nice, lovely pack opening. And we've got Nasa here in the uncommon slot and Tulsimir, friend to wolves in the rare. There we go. Yeah, we've got an Urza's Saga pack opening. So, obviously, the sooner we get to 500, the sooner I can see if that pack that's been sitting in my living room for about six months has got a Gaia's Cradle in. And I really, really think it does. And there we go, we've got Rao Storm Conduit in the uh, legendary slot. And we've got an island and another zombie army there. Yeah, I really, really want to crack that as a saga, but I legally, I legally can't until we hit 500. 500 subscribers, which oh, again, no, it's, this first card in the slot is not not looking great. Yeah, until we hit 500, can't do it legally. Uh, not allowed. And what is the rare? We've got Kaya. So so many of these planeswalkers from War of the Spark. I guess because they had so many, they had 36 planeswalkers. Deliver unto evil. There we go. Again, focusing on that Nicole Bolas Planeswalker. Um, yeah, there are so many Planeswalkers that I guess either got downgraded, you know, downgraded to uncommon because they just didn't fit that that rare slot. And I've still got writing on my hands. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get through this one. What are we going to have in this amazing set? Kasmina Enigmatic Mentor. I wonder if I'll get all of the Planeswalkers in the box. And Blast Zone, again, another really good card. I think I could I could definitely be wrong, but I think this is still worth a couple of quid, which is what you want in one of these packs. And Foil Heartfire there. I feel like I say it about most sets, but I really like the lands in this set as well. The lands in particular are beautiful. Really, really good work by all of the artists but then i feel like in all of the sets i love all the art and we've got the wanderer in the uncommon planeswalker slot and we've got tomic distinguished advocate in that rare human advisor flying that loves those lands and is really good for pre preventing lands being used from graveyards you'll have to let me know as well if there are any other sets Predominantly, I guess, from the last few years, if you'd like to see me open on this channel, I mean, with Throne of Eldraine being one of my favorite, my favorite set, my favorite, favorite set, 
and I'd love to open that on the channel because I've never done that. But, oh, another huge card here. Destroy one or more. What fool has ever just gone, ah, okay, I'll just destroy the uh, artifact and leave it at that. A great, great card. What was I even saying? Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. If there are any, any older sets, again, mainly from the last few years, because, you know, you're always not made of money. Again, no, I think it's okay. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, I will try to uh, to open it because who doesn't love opening packs? Oh, I miss Paradise Druid, and we've got another rare. Again, another rare that's usually mythic in other sets. We've got Jace, <laughs> really good for that. Um, no cards in your deck. Victory win condition. That was not a good sentence. But yeah, wicked rare Jace there, and another zombie warrior. Just one mythic so far, nearly two thirds of the way through it, but I feel like this box has uh, had some good value already, so it's only gonna get better, right? It was only gonna get better. We're gonna get Nicol Bolas. I can just feel it, Nahiri, Nahiri again. Another uh, card that's, that's a lot rarer in a, in Zendikar, but here we go, Nahiri, good for X damage and Awakening of Vitu Ghazi. Put nine one one counters on target land. Becomes legendary Nort Nort. <laughs> really cool card. Getting a nine nine four five CMC is always a good thing in my books. Okay, last pack of part two of this opening. There we go. What are we gonna get? We gonna to get something good? We gonna to get something good in the last one. Huatli, the Sun's Heart, and the Elder Spell. Okay, destroy any number of target Planeswalkers. Good card, especially for two black. But again, not that Nicol Bolas. He's got to be. He's got to be somewhere in that bit, any. Also, whilst you, whilst you tell me what you'd like me to open in the future, I do really, really want to know what your guys' favourite set to ever open is. I'd, 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 be, I'd be really interested, because I'm guessing it would be it'd be a lot of different answers, because Magic, they, they churn out hundreds of millions of sets, but they're all uh, they're all pretty good sets. Vraska, a card that I've got on as a steel glass in the Prime Slime one, and Dreadhorde Arcanist for that rare slot. One, three, Trample Zombie Wizard. There we go. Oh, I just said there we go, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, at least, at least I'm not saying ooh a million times, uh, as as me and Master Steve probably pointed out to me from my very first Magic video onwards. Get a, get a rare. I get shocked and I go ooh. Ah, oh, Moo. I love Moo. What a what a good boy. What a very good boy. And Death Sprout again. Uh, non foil this time. Arlen, voice of the pack, good for good for wolves. Oh, there we go. We've got Niv Mizzet again. Only worth a few quid, but again in the law. So spoilers if you don't know. But obviously Niv Mizzet was was killed, was killed, and then he was brought back to life. So here he is, reborn, five colours, flying, and revealing ten cards of the library. It's a wicked card. Definitely one that would probably be quite fun for some shenanigans in Commander. And there we have the island and a wizard. Yeah, this set, this set is just so good. I think people will look back on it in years to come and, and realise how good a set it was. It's just so cool. So many different planeswalkers. Like I said, it's just that it's that gathering of all the planeswalkers to take down. To, uh, there we go. I thought that was a rarer card then. Go. Angrath again. 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 Yeah. Oh, and. And there we go. That's from the trailer, I think. That sort of still. But yeah, sorry, I stopped talking to take down Nicol Bolas. And yeah, you've got all these planeswalkers taking down Nicol Bolas. And it's just. The whole thing just makes for, for cool reading, cool art, cool cards. It's just set that people will look back on and be like yeah this was this was pretty damn good Dovin's veto there 
and Jaya again, Jaya, 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 and mobilized district. There we go. That is pretty cool for a land. And we've got a wolf and a mountain. A mountain wolf, if you will. Okay, a couple of cards left. And a card, I mean, I think as a set, it was pretty shy on the mythic front because you had so many planeswalkers in those uncommon and rare slot. But we've only got one so far, which is kind of disappointing. Is this gonna be that that mythic slot? There's Omnixless again. And we've got single combat, so no, we've not. We've got a good board wipe, a, a very good board wipe, but we've not got another mythic. But I always make one prediction a pack, and this, this is the pack. This is gonna be the creme de la creme. This is gonna be the best pack. This is gonna be the best pack in the box. You just, you just watch. So in anticipation, let's flick through all of these commons, uncommons, giant growth there. Neoform, again, that's a good start. This Neoform is a wicked, wicked card. And we've got Dovin, again, another really cool Planeswalker. And we've got, ah, uh, Ravnica at War. Okay, again, another ball wipe option, but I was wrong. It's not gonna be that amazing card. Nah. Okay, six packs to go. And what we're gonna have here, let's look through these super fast. And we've got Kasmina. Oh, hello there. Oh, I thought I've got Eternal Aketra then. Got super excited. Uh, Kasmina, again, create you some wizards. And we've got God Eternal Ronas. Again, really cool card. Really, really cool card. Five Five Death Touch Zombie God. I thought it was Aketra. I thought it was Aketra. But it is. Another mythic, which we're never going to say no to. Okay, let's go for this one. It is God Eternal Petra I'm thinking of, isn't it? I'm sure editor or me will uh, will say yes or no, you're an idiot right now. Yes. So uh, that'll be fun to see editing back. And uh, for this one, we've got Davriel again. And the rare is uh, double, not double rare, but we've, all, we've already got it. We don't want it again. And planes, oh! Okay, 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 okay. We've got a foil Khan the Great Creator. Once again, not a mythic, but one of the more valuable cards in this set. That is a solid pull, especially as a foil. And who doesn't love Karen? That is a sick pull. Let's, let's put you in the mythics and then rare planeswalkers. Okay, okay, that's good. Four packs left. We've got to have some juicy pulls left in the tank, haven't we? We just have to. We just have to. There's some really good cards looking back at this set. And we've got, ah, oh, yes. We've got Jian Yangu, and then we've got Moo again. We've got lovely little Moo. And, oh, God Eternal Kefnet. Okay, we're leaving it late, but we're getting the Mythics, and we're getting those God Eternal cards. Again, not quite a Ketra, but a really, really cool card. You love to see it. And we've got Planes and an Angel. Oh, if I wanted a single uncommon Planeswalker, it would be Jiang Yangu. Because I'm a huge dog person, and to my knowledge, there's not any other Planeswalker that has a little dog sidekick in there with him in that art. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I don't just want one Jian Yangu, I want two. Two Jian Yangu. And Bioessence Hydra. Hydra Mutant Trample. Again, loving those plus one, plus one counters. Oh, then what foil have we got? It's a foil land. Good stuff. And another zombie army. Okay, two packs left. And we're gonna go. We'll save Teferi for the end. So if we can get. If we can get two submarines, we can get two to fairies, right? So, let's see. Get past the rush. And we've got Tybalt. Tybalt, who is returning in Cal time, is, uh, he is planes, planes walking. He's planes walked all the way, all the way to, to Cal time, where we'll see him next. And we, oh, there we go. Oh my God. What a pull. 
What a pub. Do I make a commander deck around this? Maybe I do. It's that good a card. God Eternal Aketra, one of the ones I wanted. Nicol Bolas and this. I get one of them. I'm happy. That is, is such a good card. If you haven't watched my top 10 white commanders in MTG, I believe this was up there and it's just it's just such a good card. And I won't go into details, you can just see why there. And we've got a Swamp, a Foil Iron Bully, and another Zombie Army. The question really is, were there any other tokens in this box besides Zombie Army? Probably not. I thought I saw another just Zombie, maybe a Dragon, but I feel it's just Zombie Armies. Oh, God Eternal Ketra to end the, end the box. This has been a really good box, you know. God Pharaoh Statue, Kiora. Kiora, again, another really good Simic option for pretty much any Simic Commander deck. Give you that card draw option and untap target permanent. So good. And commence the end game. Not a mythic, but an uncounterable instant. And I've not got Nicol Bolas, but there he is in the art. So I guess that sort of completes it, doesn't it? That makes it good enough for me. So let's put let's put Ugin to fairy there. We're not going to run through all the planeswalkers. But I will say, thank you for watching, especially if you're still watching this late on in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Lots of cow time stuff coming out. Foil Karen there. Check out all of our links in the description. And now my camera chooses to lose focus. <laughs> yeah, check out all of our links in the description, especially the affiliate links and social medias. And yeah, for now, I'm all tapped out. So until next time, that is not what I usually say.